guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So it's time for a cute Japanese stationery haul. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Inku Crate for the month of November. Inku Crate is one of my favorite Japanese subscription boxes. They give you a monthly box of cute stationery delivered right to your door. So if you guys want to save $3 on your Inku Crate, then make sure to use this code right here. And my kids also did a review video over on Sienna's channel, so make sure to go check it out when you're done watching this. I'll link it in the description box below. First off, I want to give a big thank you to Inku Crate who sent me this box for free to review. And I also want to remind you guys to take a moment and give my video a thumbs up if you like it and also subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year and I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me out. So the first item in this box is this star highlighter set. This set of highlighters is really cool because you can draw different types of lines on the paper depending on how you use the tip. And I think this is so pretty. I love how it has this glittery confetti or sequins in the tip of the highlighter. It's just for decoration though. We tried taking it out but we were not able to. So this highlighter has a star tip at the end and if you want you can use it as a little star stamp. Or alternatively, you can turn the highlighter to the side and make a thin line, or you can use it on its tip and make sort of a thicker line. It's a little bit messy. So I think my favorite way to use this is just with the star tip. So I love stick scissors, and the next item is this adorable pair of heart stick scissors with cute little yellow bananas all over it. And I like these because you can just stick them into your pencil case really easily and they're really portable. So this one is really nice. It's pretty compact. It's a little bit smaller than most of the stick scissors that I've seen out there. And I like how it has this heart tip. So you just take it out like a pen and this one has a little plastic thing on the tip which I'll dispose of later. But yeah, it's just like this you can stick it into your pencil case and you would think it would be difficult to cut with but it's not that bad my five-year-old actually is able to do it and there's just something so fun and satisfying about using stick scissors let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way okay this has to be the item that i was most excited about when i first opened this ink crate because this looks like a gacha um, sometimes the gachapons don't come in the capsules, it'll just be like a really big toy like this. And I love Sumi Kokurashi, I love this little dinosaur character, and this one looks like a roll of stickers. I thought it was going to be a washi tape dispenser, and I think you might be able to use it for washi tape if it's not too thick, but this Look, this confirms that it is a gachapon because it has this little pamphlet that shows you all the different options that you can get in the gachapon and I'm pretty happy with mine. I think this is probably one of my favorite Sumiko Gurashi characters. I also really like the white bear as well as the shrimp tempura. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but yeah, I really love this. This is probably one of my favorite items that I've ever gotten in a stationery box. I love how it's a gachapon and I think I might try using it as a washi tape dispenser after I run out of stickers. And the stickers are all so cute. I was just not expecting this at all. But look at this. There's actually such a nice variety of stickers and they feature all of the different characters, not just this um, blue dinosaur or lizard I think it is actually I think it's a lizard not a dinosaur but yeah super cute so the next item is this Chucky Petta masking tape paper and this is essentially a gigantic piece of washi tape in the shape of a sort of small sized origami paper so you can use this to cut out your own stickers and shapes to decorate your journals or scrapbooks. And there are four different prints and I think they're all really adorable. You know, I think I've seen something like this in other people's stationery videos, but I've actually never owned something like this myself. 
So I think that you want to cut out the shape or the sticker before you peel it off of the backing. But yeah, the whole thing is just like um, a full sheet of washi tape, but in a square paper form. And I think this little bear one with the triangles is my favorite one. But yeah, I like this. Thumbs up. Next up, we have these cute little hiragana stickers. In Japan, there are three different types of alphabets, and hiragana is the most basic one that they teach in school first. But you can use these to write your name in Japanese, put them in your journal. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of the Boom Chicka Boom alphabet book. I think it's because of the colors. Leave a comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Next up we have this Zebra Sarasa Clip Pen and Sarasa pens are known for having really smooth quick drying ink and they're actually one of my favorite pens to use. This one is so gorgeous because it has this marble tone ink and it changes color as you write because there are different shades of ink within the same pen barrel. So unfortunately I don't have a shot of this but I actually took notes using this pen and I filled up maybe half of my notebook page with writing just using this marble pen and the effect was so cool. So I might end up getting myself some more of these because I really like the color. It just makes me so happy. And why not just take joy in little things in life like taking notes, am I right? So the next item we have is this little Precious Memories scrapbook or journal and I think this one is actually meant for gifting. So this is something that you could give to somebody in a birthday present or maybe for Mother's Day. I could definitely see myself making something for my mom using this and you can just print out pictures and decorate it with washi tapes or other cutouts to give to a friend or a loved one. Or you can just keep it for yourself and make yourself a scrapbook of a trip that you took. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to check out these videos right here. And also, I wanna give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreon members as well as my channel members. And you guys really helped me to keep this up and running, so I truly appreciate your support. If you haven't become a channel member or Patreon yet, then go to the front of my YouTube page and hit the join button. You'll get early access to videos each week as well as access to special videos and blog posts that I reserve only for my channel members and Patreon members. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!